it's amazing. I really like it. Very creative, innovative, open, collaborative. Invitation to Facebook's new office in Dubai. Those are sent by email. Details of date, location. Partnership with Karim. Details on parking. So the, the actual story app? The story, the story part. I absolutely love it. Um, I love how, you know, Instagram can help me capture those, those special moments within a story. But Instagram stories allows me to tell it in a more complete and fun and interactive way. I love the interface, I love the user experience, I love how clean it is, I love how I can still tag and connect with other people in it, and the new Instagram Live where I can get people to join me is absolutely amazing. How are you thinking of using it? So probably, I think it would be good for me to sort of engage with, with uh, my audience, so that's one, but I also think I'd be able to like collaborate with people and do live sessions, uh, that would be fun for me, and ask questions and banter and go back and forth. But for me, uh, I think the best thing about Instagram story is just how I can share those little moments in between all the big stuff and engage That's people. Great use. That's an absolute great use of it. Yeah, so I just love that. And now like with all these other tools that they have, I can do polls and get feedback. I can uh, ask questions and get quick feedback from my audience, which is something important. How has the discussion been on the, on the DM, on the direct messaging? Yeah, it's good. You get, you get a lot of feedback. You get a lot of thoughts, you get a lot of opportunities, um, especially with a lot of collaboration. Companies reach out on DMs now, it seems to be more effective than email. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. We're creating art with light. Art with light? Yes. Okay. I suppose if you're writing, doing, creating art with on a canvas, Yes. our canvas is the camera and our light are our brushes. Okay, so, yeah. so, so you move these in the dark, is that, yes, is that it? we move these in the dark in, in, in a way that it creates calligraphy, graffiti, painting. So basically, if I stand like this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I look like this, for yeah. 30 seconds, that's it. Keep looking there. Okay, all right. Can you keep the smile to the end? I like it. Thank you very much. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, what advice would you have for somebody just getting started on social? For them to for them to create the, the content creation process as well as the distribution process. I think it's really important when you're starting out on social to just make sure that you just do it. I think part of the battle is actually not creating the content because you get like a little worked up. Um, and I think most of the people are surprised at how many people actually resonate with simple content. So I think it's really important just to do the things that you naturally do, things that you may think that may be uninteresting to you. Uh, maybe very interesting to other people. A lot of times when I'm creating content, I'm like, I don't think anybody wants to see that, but people actually do. So I think it's really important just to get started, put content out there. Um, you know, start with something as simple as your iPhone, um, and you know, really put things out there and see how it how it develops. Our very very first office here at Internet City Building One. I remember it well. We arrived here. We said, Tikom. We said, Malik. Can we please get the smallest possible office that you have? <laughs> and uh, that's what we got. I think our first office was literally 25, 30 square meters large. There was one table, there was four chairs, and half of the chairs were empty back then. <laughs> um, and things have changed quite a bit since then. Not only is our office much larger, but we've also grown our team across functions, across industries with very strong international and strong regional talent. And that has enabled us, I believe, to become an important part of how people connect, share, discover, do business, and build community together. Five years ago when we arrived, there was, I think, roughly 45 million people on Facebook. Today it's more than 164 million. Five years ago, I think there was probably close to zero people on Instagram, but I don't know what the exact numbers were, but there weren't many. Uh, today is more than 63 million people here in the MENA region on Instagram. If you walk through the office today, and I'm sure you have seen a little bit of the office, you will notice that we have a lot of posters. And these posters, they bring our values to life at Facebook. And one of these posters says, our mission and our journey is 1% finished. And I think that also pretty well summarizes how we feel about our job here at MENA. 
we strongly believe that the path that this region is on, from a resource to a knowledge and innovation-based economy and society is the right one. We really believe in a bright future for this region, and that is why we are investing in this region. So, Small businesses are the economic engine of growth for communities worldwide, and we have millions of them depending on us. None of you should be investing with us unless we're driving business growth for you, period, end of story. That is our commitment, and you hold us accountable to that. The wall still exists, not on newsfeed, but here. You know you can find it. I know, I know. <laughs> You're welcome to. 1995. <laughs> what's, what's this? The black one is the olive. Cucumber, olive. We have the passion for it. This is food. Yeah, it's all edible.